If a someone gets somewhere in life, you think it, it's because that someone has inside of them motivation, drive, commitment, whatever it's called. They will prepare to be friends. My name is Alex Devlin and I've been involved with 3D basketball for probably over 20 years on and off. My experience in basketball started in actually grade 10. I come from Alberta so I've been a hockey player and then we came to BC and we didn't have outdoor hockey rinks so I started playing basketball. I came from a family of 11 and you competed for everything and so it just became part of who you were. In high school I was the center. When I went to university I became the uh, small forward and when I went to the national team I became the point guard. So I realized the longer I played this game the shorter I became. Basketball was a wonderful uh, opportunity and we got to see the world with my experience with the national team over four or five years. Travel everywhere, just open up your eyes to a whole different world. Ready? Got to do coaching a little bit when I got back, but not much until my uh, children started going through elementary school. So I started coaching my kids through elementary and then I followed them up through their high school programs. I can honestly say it was the greatest experience I ever had was coaching my own kids. I wouldn't have traded that for my, uh, my own experience in playing the game because it was such a, a wonderful time. 3D offers uh, a competition. The format is there. The opportunity is there. I think they've always had strong coaching and uh, opportunities for uh, games and playing and traveling. But honestly, in my experience, I could say that it comes down to the individual player. It, it comes down to their dream. It comes down to their wish. What is their real goal? The opportunity to go to a Division One wasn't like it is today. We, we would read Sports Illustrated to find out what was going on in basketball. I mean, in Canada, that's, that's how we found out. That's why it goes back to if the kid's really committed, he will take what we're teaching or what they learn in practice and they will go home and practice it until they get it. And that's, that's the difference. If you rely on the three practices a week, you will improve, but not, at, not in the same way as somebody who comes to those three practices a week, goes home and practices their game. And it doesn't have to be, you know, eight hours a day. You can do ball handling 10, 15, 20 minutes a day. Uh, outside of practice and, and you're going to get better. Always put a time or a number on your training. Don't just train and say, oh, I'm just going to shoot for 15 minutes. Have, have, it, have a goal. I got to make 15 in, 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 in two minutes, or I got, a, I, got, I got three minutes to do this. Then you'll see your, your improvement. Everything in, their, in the world today is sort of uh, immediate gratification. But, you know, I want it now. I want to be able to hit the three now, but it takes thousands of shots. Kids from North Vancouver live in a nice part of the country. One day they're going to compete for a scholarship to go to a Division I school, perhaps. They're going to compete against some kid that come out of the ghettos of Chicago or New York or whatever. And for those kids, the scholarship is the difference between life or death. So when they come to compete, you got to be ready because they're going to be ready because it means that much to them. But when it comes to competition, there, there are no mm, parameters. It's, it's what you can bring up from inside of you. When you come to compete, it's coming from within you. In the end, you know what true success is? True success isn't you score these many points or even that you win the game. It's that at the end of the game, you can sit back, win or lose, and say, man, did I lay it out there. That is success. Yeah,